What up, everybody? So, um, here we go with episode two, I suppose. Um, assuming I don't, you know, die halfway through this episode, um, this Let's Play will actually have more than one episode. Um, it seemed a little shaky there for a second. But yeah, it's actually six days later, so I really have to haul ass if I want to get everything done. Um, and I might do this episode in two parts, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, let's see here. Okay. So I'm just trying to remember everything. I am G off. Um, we have our village of folks. Patsy, Naomi, Susie. Billy, Aurora, Fifi, Mikey, Nigel, Sammy, Becky, and Grimble. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. Uh, the move was very crazy. I'm just getting back into, you know, regular life. I mean, well, so the house closed two days ago. And then, um, we have, like, no furniture or anything. It's a very, uh... You know, there's still a lot of moving in to do. Hey, Aurora. Geoff? Is something the matter? There's a proverb that goes, A friend in need is a friend indeed. It means someone who helps you when you need it is a true friend. I have no problem seeing my friend's side when they are having a rough time. My senses tell me. But I really want to become an even stronger person. I wonder if I ever will. So I have a really cool desk for recording here, but the problem is... Um... I don't have a chair, so I am recording this on the floor. But hopefully my setup will get better. I have ordered a mic. Um, I'm praying to God or whatever, uh, whatever deity is in control of microphones, um, that it will work well. So we'll see. I there's like a thousand things I meant to do before <laughs> setting this up. Not the least of which was like figuring out which bugs I need to catch this month if I'm gonna catch them all. I don't know if I actually will. Two tiny Katie dids. No way. Okay. Let's see. How's my inventory looking? All right. Still pretty broke. Ew. Here's Nigel. Mikey. How's it going, Mikey? Hi, Geoff. It must be your lucky day running into me. I think so. Before I left... Oh, you already heard this. You heard this last time. So it looks like a lot of flowers have died <laughs> since last time. Has been quite a few days. Oh. Who's casting spells? Hmm. I wonder if it was Mikey or someone else. Okay, let's see here. Alright, we have the nice girls. How did Aurora get over here? Didn't we just pass her and some she, somehow she teleported? I've always assumed I've always just assumed that people marry because of love. I couldn't imagine any other reason. But sometimes I hear about people who marry for money. My senses tell me I don't get that. Is it like a job? Do you get paid a salary? And what if you want to quit? Well that is called divorce. And if you have something called alimony, you get severance pay. Well, I guess it's not really even severance pay, because you just get it um, long term. Whereas severance is like, I think severance has an end date. Oh, I do like this. I think we're too poor to start redecorating the classroom now, though. It is a bit rich for us. Incense burner. That looks pretty cool. I like that. I wouldn't really use it for incense, but it's pretty neat. What about this large boiler? Interesting. I like that. I think I'm actually going to get it. But maybe not right, right away. I need to look around first. But anyway, 
anyway, yeah, I um, I I had the episode. I think I only posted it fairly recently, the first episode. But I um, I wanted to. Oh, that's cool. I like this. Even. That's a good deal for that. Oh, uh, we have the disco walls. I think that was Hannah's wall. What about these concrete walls? Interesting. I might go for that. That would go well with a large boilerplate, too. Sort of. Have a, an imp oh my god! Oh, okay. I thought it said 8, 840. Uh, yeah, I don't really need any of this other stuff. But yeah, I was waiting to post it because, well, I didn't have internet for the longest time. I was using this little Wi-Fi hotspot, and um, eventually I did upload it through there, but it took like seven hours, <laughs> I guess, because it's like a two, it was like a two gigabyte or three gigabyte video. A vacuum amp? That's awesome. Oh, I want it so bad, though. Can sacrifices, Corsican betrayal, X-ray invasion, family matters. <laughs> we can get the soundtrack for the beloved sitcom Family Matters. I don't think I've actually ever seen that show. Oh man, I want that vacuum amp so bad. Maybe I should let it go for now though. I don't know. It, like, what a cool device to play your music. cup of water somewhere, but I, I seem to have misplaced it, and I'm nervous I'm gonna lose it and then spill it. Modern TV stand. I still can't figure out what this blue ribbon box is. It looks like... It really does look like a more war memorial commemorative commemoration type thing. I don't know. Um, I could use a broom, but I don't think we can afford it. Oh, that's cheap. Mm -hmm. I guess we could get that for now. Well, it doesn't make you go that faster. I might as well save the money for something I need. Oh, and the haunted house is open today. So much shit going on. I guess we should ask Malila what she needs today as well. I mean, there's so much to do. This is at, this is going to be like at least a two hour episode, I'm pretty sure. I haven't played at all this week until now. Moon drop. Pine mushroom, field mushroom, pleurote mushroom. Okay. Pine, field, and pleurote. I can do that. Anyway, the place is pretty cool. It's 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 fairly spacious. I have a lot of space for my stuff, which is good because I have a lot of a lot of video game collectible stuff I've accumulated over the years. Um, I guess I'll get some fish while I'm here. I'm not sure how realistic it is for us to um, try to get every fish and bug available in November because we're already sort of, um, I mean, it's the 18th now, so we only have like 12 days of the month left. You can see though. I remember one time it was like summer. I think it was my first summer after getting this game, and it was like the last day of July or something. Um, and I needed these like sharks or something to uh, like fill out my encyclopedia. And so I stayed up till like four or five a.m. in the morning, <laughs> and uh, so I didn't go to church. And it was like a big thing. Well, actually it wasn't. I think I got away with it. No one, no one like told on me. Like I, I, I don't go to church now, but I did at the time. And uh, my parents were like out of town. 
So I was worried that someone was going to notice I wasn't there and then tell them that I hadn't gone. I think I got away with it. But dedication to video games is important. And um, if they get in the way of your relationship with God, then, you know, I think that's a sacrifice that had to be made. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. If you're religious or anything, you know, I don't mean any events by that. Or maybe I do. I don't know. I don't want to be an asshole, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a pretty laissez-faire guy when it comes to that sort of stuff. Leatherfish, nice. Okay, just a little more room. Anything over there? School. Okay, I, w I, th I think I want to get rid of my uniform stuff and then keep that, obviously. But yeah, I did manage to survive the um, that Airbnb. Um, I left them a three-star review because it was really bad. <laughs> but I still feel really guilty about it. Oh, there's Billy. What's up, Billy? What's wrong? Why the long face? Is it all the horsing around you've been doing? Maybe you need a stable relationship. I sent my father a letter saying that I looked up to him and wanted to be just like him. He sent a reply that said, It's okay to look up to me, but you shouldn't copy me. I am not him, I am me. And so he said I should design my own future. That's what he wrote. The next month he increased my allowance for some reason. According to my data, I think my father spoils me a little. Wow, speaking without my nasal cavity is actually doesn't feel very good all right oh you know I should probably should take a class or two while I'm over here I should I really need to get the tutorial spell uh, the tutorial lessons out of the way It's so relaxing. Oh, if it isn't Geoff. So, which class would you like to take? Staff magic, please. Oh. In this class, we are going to look at staff magic. You can use staff magic by chanting spells which are directed at your staff. Wait, wouldn't it be with your staff? You'll be able to learn a lot about this kind of magic in Mr. Oakley's classes. So be sure to stay clo pay close attention to his lessons, too. Now, to cast staff magic, you will have to transform into a wizard. So first things first, let's learn how to do that. As shown on the blackboard, you can transform by using the stylus or the control pad to make yourself spin the right over and over again. After you have finished changing into a wizard, you are ready to chant a spell. Now, if you want to return to normal, just spin around and round to the left. The rune I draw on the board stands for magic. When casting a spell, you have to start with that rune. One magic will fail if you use another rune instead of that one. Oh, let's read it. Do you have to? Oh, this is the same one as last time. Do you have, to? Do you have something that gets me? Sometimes I feel like you're giving me strange looks. Or am I just imagining things? Naomi. Naomi seems to be the the top the topic of much suspicion and gossip in in, in whenever we see her, whether in the past file or this one. Call on me. I'm a nerd. You're using staff magic and chanting Lego six. In what position do you say magic? That's at the beginning. Dumbo. So yeah, last time I, I think I said that runes are not useful for anything, but of course they are used in magic. 
and a cup and a couple um, a couple mysteries. I don't remember if we've talked about it, but a mystery if you haven't seen this game or interacted before. It's basically like a little quest that happens every now and again. Mm, Naomi and uh, Naomi and Mikey are talking. Billy's out of here. I like Mikey. Huh? Oh my god. It's kind of a hobby, I suppose, and you may find it a bit odd, but I like to peel scabs. And they have hardened to the perfect crunchiness. I love to peel them off in one piece. The pounding of my heart, the rush of adrenaline, it's almost too much to bear. Well, to me. Now you know I'm always smiling when I fall off my bicycle. Oh, Mikey. A monkey after my own heart. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, where should we go? Guess we'll have to get some juice. Oh man, I need a chair. Sitting on the floor is not very comfortable. I need to probably like move with my back against the wall or something. Let's get some ju well, first let's see if there's any clothes for sale. I might move a little over here. There we go. Oh, now the sun's on my face, but that's okay. Alright, what do we have here? Pirate pants! That's way better than whatever I have on now. Like the rocker pants or something. Alright, blue down jacket. Oh, that's cute. Green check shirt with a little Japanese symbol on it. Black flame shirt. Very cool. Orange piece shirt. I like these. I don't know if I like them enough to buy, but I'll try them on. Alright, sorry if that made noise. I had to itch my head. Totally awesome on you. I'm like so blown away. If you don't buy that like right this minute, you're like so not with it. Hell no. It looks okay though. It's just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to commit. I do want these pirate pants though. Just please don't let them be expensive. Ugh, they're expensive. There's so much money to make today, and I didn't want to even do mystery time. selection of beautiful flowers. Yeah, so since you can't, like, since the trees die, this is actually a lot more important in this game than, uh, than Leaf Shop and New Leaf in Animal Crossing. Let's grab some juice while we're out. So I do need to grab some groceries later, or at least, like, order them, and that may take a little while. So, I don't know. Ooh, I think this is Limelight, like the song. <laughs> yeah, 
has a lot of small fees for things. Just gonna listen to this while Geoff learns it. very exciting for Mikey, but I definitely have to turn this stuff in. My inventory is chock full. And, uh... Well, maybe I'll just deposit... I'm trying to get, like... It would be nice to get a kind of full-ish safe deposit box, so I guess I'll just deposit these clothes instead of selling them. about this at some point. Oh, and there's a ton of those mushrooms that Malila wanted. Or at least a good number of one, the yellow ones, I think, are around. So that definitely won't get us a ton of money, but at least a little bit. Alright, what do we got here? A surprising number of fish. I thought it was all bugs, but definitely some fish. Got some lobsters. trying to think of all the different things uh, that I usually talk about, <laughs> whether or not they're interesting. I'm just a little out of it. This, the past few days have been a lot, like moving in and stuff. I mean, it's a really cool place. It's got a great back deck and a really cool like shower thingy. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. Like um, the upstairs air conditioning wasn't working and that's where I was sleeping. <laughs> so <laughs> that was fucking terrible um, because it, it's been super, super cold here. It was it, it like, um, I think it went below freezing last night. Um, but uh, I got a space heater and then the AC guy just came by and he said it was fixed. So I think we should be good now. But just a couple, a bunch of different things like that. Setting up sewers, setting up electric. Um, setting up internet. Um, water stuff. And then this house uses gas too, so... Just a lot. <laughs> like he's shocked. Oh no, he's happy. I mis I misinterpreted his face. Alright, this is actually a pretty good batch of things. And I'm gonna sell it all because I just don't really, I don't need any of this stuff right now. I'm gonna wait to start saving things. Alright, what about those mushrooms that Malila wanted? Okay, oh, here's two of them. Oh, wait, she said pine mushroom and field mushroom, right? So we don't actually need the forest mushrooms. This 
is a mandragora root, and maybe after I catch one, I will show off uh, the wrong way to catch it. <laughs> okay, I want to make sure I got one of those. I think my inventory is full now, though. Yeah, I should probably head back to Malala's. Yeah, I've been meaning to... I told myself I should make, like, a text document with all the porcini mushroom. That's really interesting. That's, like, pink? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Or maybe I just saw it and didn't think about it. No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to put it back. Well, I might hang on to it just to sell it and see if it's worth anything. Train this dragonfly real quick. I just wanted to make sure. I'm trying to get as many creatures as I theoretically can. Let's see. Okie dokie. I think I'm gonna look up the... Well, I guess I should do that later. Well, no. I'm always doing this. I'm so sorry. But I, I, I should look up the... Um, what bugs are leaving at the moment. Bug and fish list. Here we go. Man, I have this knot in my back and it's horrible. It's like actually making parts of my back fall asleep occasionally, which I think is a really bad sign. <laughs> oh man, that porcini mushroom was not worth anything at all. Alright, we have the Cambrian creature, canned tuna. Oh, wow, okay. There's quite a lot of stuff that's leaving. Leatherfish, we got that. Got the lobster. The... Yeah, quite a few things here. Ancient dragonfly, the ant. Okay, most of the bugs that are leaving are... I think all the bugs that are leaving are mystery time bugs, except for the ant. Mikey's still with us. How, how's our money looking? I guess we can afford uh, some noodles. He's being pretty nice considering we haven't played for a few days and he's like really sticking around actually. Pocket Camp update thread last night. This one is insanely late. It was like, I don't know, it was like two weeks late. No, it was, uh, I think it 
think it was like eight days. That's definitely the longest it usually takes. Well, the yeah, it honestly never usually takes that long. But, I can't lie, part of the delay, I mean, most of it was just moving stuff, but part of it was... Part of it was also starting this Let's Play, and also... Also the fact that I really hate this month's events in Bucket Camp. I, and I, I hate December too. I mean, I hate winter in general, so honestly, like, I'm... I'm just kind of waiting till next summer, honestly. Some, sometimes they'll have fun events until then, though, but I don't know. Monkey, monkey, Mikey the monkey. Okay, we have a raspberry. Very nice. Kind of doubt there's anything in, up here. There isn't. Trying to think of how when I'll have time to do mystery time this month. I mean, probably any time. My parents will be visiting, but only for a couple days. They're uh, driving down with some more of my stuff to help me move in. He's already trying to leave without me. Ah. <laughs> anyway, so, um... <laughs> yeah, if you aren't familiar, uh, this is the island. I probably should have said that earlier. Um, <laughs> although you could probably see it. Um... But yeah, this is, uh, it's, it's very small, smaller even than Animal Crossing GameCube's Island, which is itself pretty small. And uh, there's not always a lot to do here. Usually there's a berry. I don't really know, um, how the island magically manifests a single berry every day, but that seems to happen. And, uh, I'm trying to think, what else? I mean, there's a tree. Sometimes there's a bug in it, but most of the time there's not. Um, and you can do a little fishing, and on Sundays there will be a pirate here, and he'll duel you. He'll, uh, see if there's anything in your pockets that he wants, and then he'll try to duel you for it. Well, I guess that's everything here. And this is Mr. Mummy Guy. I can't remember what his name is. Is it Ra? Oh, it's Ma. Yeah. But he doesn't sing for you or anything, he just lets you ruminate in your private thoughts as you ride under the sunset sky back to the mainland, into the island. The sun is setting here in real life too, it actually doesn't look quite that colorful, but it actually looks a little similar. I'm surprised.
Why is Mikey still with us? I guess it's because we keep changing scenes. I think you have to be in the same scene for a while for him to get bored. like filled it but I didn't um I guess we'll do some more fishing oh no I think I'm not close enough to this oh never mind we got it <laughs> supportive. Ah. Okay, I feel like I'm getting, I've gotten all that I'm going to get from this. I'm really confused though. Are Nautiluses a Mystery Time exclusive creature? Because I, I thought I was getting them all the time outside Mystery Time and now I feel like I'm actually not to like look this up. I have a strategy guide for this game somewhere, but although it's Japanese so I can't really read it. But you can like look at the pictures and like remember like what the Japanese symbols are for whatever creature you want to look up and then look at the little chart and look for those symbols. And that helps. Fifi. Hello there. <laughs> Have you been eating your greens? I love sewing. I lose track of time threading stitch after stitch after stitch after stitch. It's the same with knitting. I sit down to think and have the next thing, and the next thing I know, hours have passed. Oh, and reading is the same too. A whole day could go by and I wouldn't notice. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I just zone out too easily. Probably. Oh, well, I want to play something with Fifi, but I think she's not interested. She's busy spacing out and reading. Ooh, I wonder... Does Aurora whistle? Penguin's whistle. I think it actually really um, depends on species in this game. Sorry to cut that short, but it just wasn't wowing me. Um, well, let's find someone else to play with. Okay, what was Billy's instrument? I would like to know. Come on, Billy, play with us. No, he's going away. It is so hard to catch them. Also, is there anyone over here? Oh, Susie. I wonder what Susie plays. Let's find out. No, Susie, don't leave. Oh my god. It's so hard to, like, get in people's way. But you have to. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's doing that creepy thing where she's just, like, hovering around. I don't like that. I'm scared. Yeah, join us, Susie. Also, get the fuck out of Mikey's way. No, come back! <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Good. Okay, now they're both in each other's way. That's fine. I think they just, like, give up. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Even if you can't see me, I'm enjoying myself. doesn't make any sense. I don't think this is correct. Yeah, this whole thing is, like, fucked. The formatting of this is not correct. Because sometimes... Like, no offense, because the Enchanted Bros Wiki, they do a fantastic job, and this is, like, the best, one of the best resources, but this isn't right. First off, it says Cambrian Creature A, when it's definitely B. Second, it has a bunch of fish in bolded italics, um, which, according to the key, means that it's both appears in that month and then leaves that month. But a lot of these stay. So then I'm like, okay, maybe they just mean, like, italics at all means, like, they just had to bold it to, but then, no, there's, there's, there's non-bolded italics in other months. So, I need a different, I need a different, um, resource, I think. And the, uh, Magician's Quest Wiki, as good as it is, um, is definitely missing this info. So I'm gonna have to go to Game Packs or something. Oh, is Naomi gonna join us? <gasps> oh my god, yes! Join our jam session! Yeah, this is some nice jazz for the middle of the day. Well, the closing to the end of the day, and then the sunset. God, Billy, join us too. Billy, don't be a nerd. Just join us. Yeah. Everyone's in each other's way, but I think that's not gonna stop them. Oh, this is great. This was way easier to put together because, like, I think it took till like episode 17 or something in the last gameplay to get a group of five together. This has to be the biggest you can have, right? I mean, I think so. Oh, Mikey is so cute. I really want to date him. business with Mikey. Not to make it weird or anything. What the fuck? Mikey, you're hanging out with us. You're not supposed to stop. Oh, okay. Oh, Susie's done too. Alright, well fuck you guys. Not really, but... Oh no, <laughs> Mikey's joining again. <laughs> I guess he changed his mind. I guess he just didn't want to be near Susie anymore. Billy's actually pretty cute when he's playing violin. I'm really curious how this song would sound with drums and like electric guitar and stuff. There is a soundtrack somewhere of like 
all the instruments together for each song, but like I, I don't think everything together sounds very good. You, I think five, I think four or five instruments is ideal. All right, Mikey, thanks for hanging out. Oh, there. What's a, what about Grimble? You can even understand what I'm talking about. Good for you. Oh, I think he likes us. He's a little snobby, but he's definitely a good guy. Um, it's hard to like decide all this, like what order to do everything. I have so many things to do. I have to get these. Oh, there's Patsy. Patsy, the uh. So I looked it up. A Mont Block dessert is like chestnut puree or something equally like vile and repulsive um so i might have to be judging patsy a little bit for who she is maybe that's wrong but i mean i don't know i feel like some desserts are best relegated to their historical eras <laughs> her voice is so high <laughs> too <laughs> she doesn't sound like she has that she doesn't look like she would have that voice she looks at she more like, that's right, some friends are here today, gone tomorrow. But she's like, why not they seem to be with you forever? It all depends on their personalities, I think. Something like that. Oh, she's creeping me out just a little bit. I mean, I love her. She's like, I actually really like her. Um, <laughs> but she's definitely pretty creepy. I feel like Fifi is like creepy in a way that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, because she looks so sweet, but I, I like these weird-looking characters. I would love to invest in an electric guitar. I'm trying to think of, like, what instrument Geoff would play. I do think the bass is an amazing instrument that, instrument that sounds really good with everything. Okay, this is going to take a while. I'm sorry about this. Oh my god, wait, it's already almost 5 o'clock. Okay, I have to, like, stop this right away. <laughs> I have to, like, finish the tutorial classes so I can get the 4 o'clock class before it changes over to 5 o'clock. Otherwise, I'm, like, starting, I'm starting to run out of time to get the classes for today. Have I already been playing for like an hour? It feels like I started like 10 minutes ago. Alright, on delay, on delay. Let's take some classes real quick. I think we're getting close to the end, I hope so anyway. In this class, we're going to talk about incantations. We're going to do it quickly because we only have a couple of minutes. In case class tracing anything happened in the world, people's minds, you can learn a lot about this kind of magic in Miss Frost's classes. Be sure to play because students do our lessons too. Now, to cast the conversation, you'll have to learn to transform into a wizard. Let's turn on the lockboard and you can do this by spreading to the right and we have We already know this shit. Stop. Okay, we get it. So, yeah, the difference between spells and incantations are that incantations require material, usually. And they're a bit more sophisticated in what they do. Usually a spell is like a one-time, one-and-done thing. But an incantation usually has an actual effect. Like you can use it to declare love for someone, or like raise your grades. Oh, I want to say hi to Grimble at least. Oh, Patsy wanted to talk. I'm sorry, Patsy. Patsy is the funniest name for her, too. No offense if your name is Patsy, but it's a pretty hysterical name in that situation. In this class, we're going to discuss your wizard chart. Pressing start usually brings up the wizard chart on the top screen. This has been prepared to help you become a great wizard. Use it like a report card. You can judge the number of stars just how well you're doing. 
Oh, I'm making a grammatical massacre out of this. You are all apprentice wizard, right? So if you look below, you will see ten small stars and five large stars. You will get this big star once you have ten small ones. I will give you a present at that point, so make sure to come and ask me about your grades once you have ten small stars. You will get lots of stars and rewards if you are an excellent student. Now then, let me tell you how to get more stars. Attending classes and getting to the bottom of strange happenings slowly increases your stars. I want you to work hard to become a... Hard blah, blah, blah. Oh. Fifi passed a note at us. Jeff, is there something fun we could do? Everything feels so boring lately. From Fifi. <laughs> I swear to God, she's gonna eat us. Just smile and nod. Play nice. I swear we're getting close to the end of this. Yeah. <laughs> Making mischief won't help you gain check. But don't overdo it. That goes for everyone else, too. Don't bother somebody for no reason. So I really like that. They're actually very, like... It's okay if you are a little mischievous. Uh, every now and again, it's fun. But don't take it too far. Because otherwise, why are they teaching you these spells about how to, you know, make each other fart or fall asleep or whatever? Okay, I don't think that was the last one, because I think he would announce it if it was the last one. I'm hoping we're getting there. We have eight minutes left, so we should probably be... Okay, these aren't taking that long. In this class, we're going to take a look at communications. Uh, every college freshman's major. To send communications, you will need to enter the communications room, which is located in the dormitory in front of the gateway at the beginning of the end. If a classmate is with you in the communications room, you can allow them to study abroad. You can also you can go visit other towns, and people from other towns can visit ours. This is also where you'll get a friend code, which is required for Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Oh, Billy, the nerd passed a note. Jeff, I noticed you're a bit aloof with me. Is there some reason for that? From Billy. <laughs> um, no reason. We find you a little weird. That might be the reason. Um, it cannot be used to buy a CD, although that would be awesome. <laughs> wow! I was amazed. I love that I'm getting away with not wearing my uniform in class. I think there's a way for you to edit the uniform, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh my god. So many tutorials. I forgot how many tutorials there was. I thought it was very basic, but they're really going into it. Well, I'm sure you all have listened to music in many different places. Have you heard music before? Do you know what a song is? And you probably have bought CDs when there is a song you like, or have thought about putting on a performance after buying a musical instrument. There really are so many ways to enjoy music. First, let's learn how to memorize it. By listening to a song that is playing inside the limelight for a little while, you can then memorize that piece of music. Also, by buying a CD at Harrow's, inserting it into a music player in your room, and then listening to the CD, you will be able to memorize that music. With communications, you'll be able to, you can learn music by listening close to a friend's performance. How oh, interesting, I didn't think you that. Moving on, I will now explain how to perform music. Okay, we've done this a bunch already, so... Yes, yeah, so you can whistle on your own, or you can buy an instrument and then play things you've known that way. If you know the title of the song you've learned, go to Harrow's and find Picard. Order the song you want from it, and three days later, the CD will arrive at the store. When you go pick up the CD, you'll learn the song's title, and it'll be added to your list. Technically, he tells you what the uh, song's title is ahead of time. Oh, no! I meant to see, see that now. I'm sorry, Fifi. I accidentally click too fast and it didn't see her now. I think it says something about a boy and the boy she likes. That was very fast though. Okay, we really need to speed through the rest of these. Uh, just listen to it for a while. If you want to listen, if you want to memorize a song, you need to learn it instantly. Ah, 
Aha! Alright, we're finally done. I wouldn't expect that to be the last one. I'm Mr. Vlad, and I will be teaching you ling magic linguistics. I expect you to study hard. Joff, you should review the day's lessons and study for the next one every day. Well, Joff, which class would you like to take? Red eyes. Uh-oh. Is this not the first lesson? If not, I... Today, we will look at some magic linguistics that we learn easily and often. Yes, there is one type of magic linguistics you can acquire many times. Sorry, my voice is changing room. And that is the name of a classmate. By speaking with a classmate just once, you can add the name to your list which appears under who. So, if there is anyone you have not talked to yet, you might want to have a chat with them. <laughs> oh, I think I'll ask someone a question. Let's see. Joff, where is the classmate magic linguistic added to? Added to him? That is correct. You must really be paying attention to my lesson. Ho, ho, ho. Now keep working hard. Nice work. You're exceptional. Wow. Well, do not be afraid to add on a large number of people using these magic linguistics. Start conversations with anyone you do not know to keep building up your list. Today's lesson will now come to a close. Alright, we can make it just in time. Alright. Ah, oh, no! Okay, so because we started on a Saturday, I was hoping if you didn't finish the tutorials in time. That sucks. I was hoping if you didn't finish the tutorials, I wouldn't start the classes, but now we've legitimately missed the first class. Because, I don't know, I didn't feel like going through all the tutorials and listening, learning all three lessons last Saturday. So we're going to have to circle back after we've, we're done going through everything else. That's okay, though. Just... Just how the cookie crumbles. Hey, Jeff, how have you been? Me, I'm just fine, thanks. I take good care of myself, unlike certain others that don't come to mind. I'd like to give him a retiree voice, but I really don't know what that sounds like, so. He just hates surprise tests. I just can't deal with them. If I knew the test material beforehand, I could follow someone's notebook to prepare. Or if I knew the day of the test, I could call in sick. Back in the day, don't we deserve to know at least one of them? There's nothing like the sound of rain, a warm cup of tea, and a tome of classical literature. I have quite refined taste, wouldn't you say? Although, the book I've chosen is a bit too difficult to understand, and the tea I've made is a tad too dark and bitter to really enjoy. I know what you're thinking, but lest you forget, to look good is to feel good. Huh. I wonder what they're whispering about. Swapping gossip. Oh, now Billy's probably telling him the same thing that he just told me. I was gonna say I wish that we could hear this gossip, but we totally can. Um, so while I'm waiting for the minute to pass, <laughs> I'll go up here, I guess. So this is the trophy room. Um, you get little things for all the, um, mysteries that you solve. Well, not really things, you get, um, you get trophies and then they'll be added to the book. Alright, so it's five o'clock, so that means that the lesson will turn over to Mr. Oakley. Hello, greetings, Joff. I'm Mr. Oakley and I will be your teacher for Wand Magic. Let's all have fun studying together. Oh, listen, Geoff, you shouldn't sneak up on the elderly like that. So then, Geoff, what class are you looking to take? Let's say Cloud Hammock. We did learn this with Esmelton already, but... For today, let's go over Cloud Hammock magic. With this magic, you can create a hammock made from clouds and take a nap. If any of your friends see you, they will go to sleep right beside you. Now, to use this kind of magic, you need to first transform into a wizard. <laughs> Load this spell into your staff, just as it's shown on the blackboard. Man. 
Man, everyone's passing notes today. Geoff, are you the guarded type? You somehow seem so difficult to approach. Vivi. Why do you want to approach me, Fifi? Because you want the taste of human flesh? <laughs> well, now it's time for a question. So, who should I ask? Ask us. Oh, Geoff, with cloud magic, besides magic and sleep, what other magic linguistic spell must be chanted? Sky. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, you got it right. You've really been listening to my lesson, eh? Geoff, you certainly are a remarkable child. Make sure you keep it up. Well, I mean, I wish I were you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, this is so depressing. I'm watching the second day be filled in. <laughs> that means we'll finish everyone at different times. Well, I mean, I guess that's the case anyway, but this means we'll really have to keep up with these. Make sure I don't miss it the second time around. Alrighty. Um, up there's another area. I'll, I'll check it out later. Man, I really want cookies. but I do. So, now that we've taken some lessons, I think I will um, go up to the cave in the haunted house. Because I, I definitely want to catch an ant. <laughs> if I haven't already. If they're apparently leaving. If they're apparently leaving. Though, I really need those mushrooms, too. Oh, right. I never finished selling what I had. Okay, I guess I'll do that first. Got a cute cricket there. Do I have room for all three? Ugh, no I don't. Um, I'm gonna put this carpet down. Oh! Hey, Geoff. I was looking around for you. I'm sorry to bother you, but the principal wants to see you. Come with me. Okay. I'm doing things, but alright. Okay, could we walk any slower? Oh my god. The principals are waiting inside. Don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> Crazy kids. Oh, there you are, Joff. There's something important I wanted to talk to you about. You passed through the gateway of the beginning and end when you came to this school. It's the link between our world and the mystery world. When it links with the mystery world, mystery time may sometimes result. Now, I want you to be in charge of linking our world with the mystery time with mystery time here at the gateway of the beginning and the end. Uh sorry, I'm not really interested. Joff, this is a matter of great importance. Won't you please reconsider? No can do. Oh, I see. I can understand how my sudden request might be a bit overwhelming, but I'd like you to carefully reconsider. Please take your time. Huh. So you actually can say no. Like, Animal Crossing never lets you say no to this stuff. Oh, if it isn't you off. Well, thanks for coming by. Okay. I... I'm, just, I'm scared to say too, no too many times in case it actually, like... I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't actually prevent you, but... Really, that's great news. This is what's known as the key of mystery. Only the school principal can create it. Okay. This has been the tradition since the very first principal founded our school. With this key, you can link the gateway of the beginning and an end with mystery type. However, only human children, such as yourself, Geoff, can use this key. Oh, so that's why. 
Such is the rule that has stood since ancient times. I was wondering why it was our job to do it. Now, use this key to open the gateway to the beginning in it. Yay! I don't think I'll do it today, but I, I, I will want to play against him. However, you may find it impossible to use the key at certain times. If you hear a knock from the other side when you put the key in the lock, someone may be using the gateway and the world on the other side. At such times, simply wait a few days and then try the key again. Now, I shall use my powers to send you the gateway of the beginning and end at once. I'm counting on you, Geoff. Wait, I don't want to do it yet. You're not actually going to make me do it yet, are you? Okay. I'm not ready today. I already have a lot to do without this. Well, maybe I'll do I don't know. I feel like I would rather wait to the, to the next video. Oh, we've already got some mushrooms in here. That's not good. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with my room. Uh, okay. This is <laughs> complicated. Okay, so now I need to go back to the tower just to turn in these creatures. I was talking about the Splatfest last time, so what actually ended up happening was I did play a lot for Team Fire. Maybe not like a ton. I, I usually like to play for hours and hours, and I think I think this lap, this past Splatfest I only got to play for like like four or five hours. I mean that is a long time, but for me, I mean I go hard when it comes to Splatfests. Um, but anyway, so Team Fire I think like lost on pretty much everything. Um, I think they were second place for popularity, but maybe last in everything else. So, Fry just doesn't have the most skilled players, I guess, like on average anyway. Like, I guess the simps for Shiver and the big man fans uh, just play harder. But I don't really regret my choice or anything, it was just bit of a bummer, but Team Water, so it seemed like they were going to win anyway, because I was pretty sure they won popularity, and I knew that they had won half times. So they were probably going to win Pro, and they also won the Conk Sneak Peek, which is just a measure of which team plays the most on average um, before the Splatfest even starts, but in a shocking turn of events, they actually even won the open category, which is where they had a tricolor disadvantage. So they really turned things around. So they literally won every category. It was fucking insane. But I'm glad that the exact same thing that happened the first two Splatfests didn't happen again this time. Uh, I'm starting to get a little chilly, so let me... Uh, give me one second. I'm just going to... Okay, I've returned. I just needed to, uh... I don't know, I need to refill my drink, get a snack, take a leak, and, uh, turn the AC on. It's like, only, like, eight different things. But I'm back now. Dude, I'm so stoked to be playing this game again. I like missed it. I was like, I really wanted to play yesterday, but I kept telling myself, no, don't. Well, at first I was telling myself not to post it even until, ooh, the stars are coming out. Um, <clears throat> until I'd posted the pocket cam thread because I'd slacked so bad on that. I felt like maybe the game was taking away time from th the thread stuff. Um, but yeah, I finally, finally finished that, last, well, but then I was like, well, just don't play another episode until you finish, and so I did that last night, which turned out perfectly because I actually did consider playing yesterday, but why am I in school? I didn't need to do this. Um, but I realized today is the 18th, which means it's a haunted house day, so. Oh, Sammy, we haven't seen him again today yet. 
It's almost time for dinner, and I don't even care what we're having. Just give me something hot and tasty, and I'm a happy fella. Cold weather means long soaks in the hot tub. Sometimes they throw an orange in the water, too. It smells birdy. And when I'm done, I eat it. How great is that? Two for the price of one. Just like that. Next time, I'm thinking of giant pizza. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. That's really good. I haven't heard of that orange thing. I hear it, like, it's a big tumbler thing that was, like... Everyone was supposed to be like, eat, a, eat an orange in the shower. It's a sensual experience. I've never, I've never tried it, so maybe, I, maybe I'm knocking something I've never tried. And then I've also heard of drinking beer in the shower. I guess that's a big thing. I've never eaten or drank in the bath or shower, really. Maybe I should try it. I mean, the place, the place I'm in now has a really great tub, so I, I probably could give it a shot. Let's see. If you just like ate your whole dinner in the bath, like spaghetti, <laughs> spaghetti meatballs or something, <laughs> it'd be an interesting sensory experience. I should do that in like. I know Tumblr's basically dead now, but post such a Tumblr thing. Try eating your spaghetti and meatballs in the bathtub. It's the most sensual experience. Okay, thankfully I have enough money to. Buy the pirate pants. But I really want the vacuum amp. It's so cool. And I want the boiler too. I want all this shit. I might just be spending a lot of time farming creatures this episode. Fifi loves these benches. Aurora is so cute. I feel like if we were going to date a girl here, it would be Aurora, but I don't know if I really like her that much. Yeah, that's true. We do get along very well. I feel like I'm just interested in guys this time. Not Billy, though. Let's because I don't really like I'm I don't really like Susie. I don't really like Fifi or Patsy. Naomi's okay. Maybe maybe if we were gonna date anyone, it would be Naomi. I don't really like... I'm not a rabbit guy. I wasn't one of those people who got enamored with Jessica Rabbit when they were a kid. Or Bugs Bunny. I know a lot of people, you know, saw those Bugs Bunny cartoons and were like, wow. You know, awakening their sexuality. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, although, yeah, I guess for some people... Yeah, what's up, Doc? I mean, for some people, that can really get you going. Okay, I've been holding on to this raspberry for like eight years. Let's go try to sell it. I'm sure it won't be worth very much, but you can give it a shot. Also, are there any mushrooms in here worth poaching? Um, I can never remember if these laughing gems are worth anything or not. I think they're, I think they're worth a little bit, not much, but. Enough where it might be okay to pick them up. Man, it really depresses me when the sun sets like at five o'clock. I was hoping moving south that would be fixed a little bit, but um, nope, it's still setting at like five o'clock. Looks a lot prettier in Magician's Quest than it does in real life right now. This whole tree thing in Mission's Quest is so absurd that like trees will grow in like five days and then they'll, they'll live for a little while and then they'll die again. Um, okay, I'm gonna go in the cave first, I guess. I'm really scared there's gonna be something in the haunted house that I desperately need as well. And then, I'll just, you know, there's just way too much money <laughs> that needs to be made in this episode. I'm not seeing any ants. I think they're supposed to appear all day, but maybe not today. Oh, there's a fly. Have I gotten one of these yet? I think this is a crane fly, not an actual fly. Oh my god, leave me alone, but also get into my net. 
Uh, ha, gotcha. A little freak. I remember I really wanted to put one of those in the uh, sexy hangout room for Sanderson and Victoria in the last playthrough. I never got to. But maybe I'll come back and do that someday. I just had so much fun that last time. I was like, this has to be the last episode. I don't think I can outdo this. Ooh, a legendary catfish. Speaking of catfish, um, well, catfish makes me think of reality TV, and reality TV reminds me. <laughs> um, so I do watch some reality TV, even though I hate it. Well, actually, that's not true. There is some out reality TV I legitimately love. Um, okay, so I don't know if you're familiar with Love is Blind on Netflix. Um, it is like the worst reality TV show that I still watch. So like, so I've watched like The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, you know, that's, that's one thing. And you know, that's okay. So basically that's a system where you spend a couple days, uh, I mean a couple days total. I mean, it takes, a, it takes place over like a month. I think they film it over a month, but, um, so I'm just looking for the ant. But, you know, that's a situation where you could still kind of get a bit of a vibe for whether you want to be with somebody. And, uh, crazy. And the, and they do talk to the Bachelor of the Bachelor and kind of try to find their type and then throw a few of those type in the mix. Um, so the success rate of those shows is actually very interesting. Um... To my knowledge, and I could be wrong, because it's been a little while since I've looked into this. To my knowledge, The Bachelor has stayed with their pick, like, once or twice in, like, the 20 seasons, 20-plus 20 seasons of this show. Um, and maybe this is just me being, like, like a biological analyst or something, or maybe, like, slightly sexist or something, but, like, in those shows, I think it's really interesting that the men seem to have a worse time picking a life mate than the women do, because the women's success rate, I mean, it's still not great, but it's a lot better. I think it's like five or six of the, the, the bachelorettes that picked a man um, that are still together. Some of them actually did end up with, you know, families or whatever. Oh, no, that's another fly. And it's really interesting, I think, um, oh, there's an ant. I'm really interested in, like, biological or evolutionary psychology, where it's not, like, not rules, but just, like, tendencies and how it says about, like, our history as a species or whatever. I think it's really interesting if you want to take from those results that men might be on average just slightly, like in those situations, a man might have a worse time picking a life partner. And I think it's sort of because, or, or at least the, the women, it just works out better in the bachelorette situation where it's a girl with a harem of guys and they're all fighting to pick one because I think... I'm probably saying some really offensive things here, so I apologize if this is offensive to anybody or sexist somehow, but I think in these situations, um, I think when there's a high stakes romantic situation, I think a man wants to feel like he earned love. He doesn't want to just like, I mean, and this is of course, it's hugely generalizing. I'm not saying this is true of all cases. I'm just saying like in, in this show, a, a tendency, if not a rule, is that the man wants to sort of feel like he um, earned this like great catch, whereas if it's a man and he has like 30 women to pick from, um, I mean, I don't really know what's wrong with that picture, but it's just like, it doesn't seem to turn out as well. Then there's no challenge, there's no intrigue. It's just like the man knows he has his pick and he gets to just pick anybody. And for some reason, that results in less satisfaction. 
than when the woman, you know, maybe maybe the women on this show and on average are a little bit more serious about finding a life partner, and so they actually are better at picking one, or they're just they have a little bit more. I don't know, better intuition about who their long-term life partner should be. And again, you know, I, I, I don't want to be sexist or anything. I'm not saying that this is a, like a rule that you need to look at all men or all women across, but I just think it's really interesting, th those shows, um, and how they, how they end up. 366, not bad. Anyway, I'm sorry if that's, that's like territory I shouldn't even be going into. I apologize. And I don't know why anyone would be watching Magician's Quest and want to hear about my uh, psychological analysis of the Bachelor Bachelorette. That's pretty cool, but I don't want it that much. This is pretty cool, too. This is Halloween bed. So I guess the Halloween bed is basically what the spooky series is in Animal Crossing. Thankfully, this is not nothing I really desperately need. Drinks rack. I think Tony had that in Smelton's file, and he would try to pawn it off at garage sales a whole lot. Anyway, so I feel a little relieved that there's nothing there I want. Okay, so where was where, where was I going with this? Okay, but yeah, so you can at least get success sometimes on those shows. Like, most of the time not, but occasionally. Love is Blind is not like those shows. <laughs> it's really different. Um, it's a mess. Let's see what we get. Magic workbench. Um, I guess I'll keep it. Just in case. I think it's worth a fair bit, though. I'll probably put it in the safe deposit box. I don't think we like, need it right now. Or, actually, maybe I'll just put it in my room. And we have, we have room for it. So, sorry, I don't know why anyone would want to be listening to my reality stuff, reality TV stuff, but in Love is Blind, it is a TV show where they uh, kidnap about 20 of each gender, uh, not of like each. Uh, like so, tw 20 guys and 20 girls, um, or something like that, and then they put them in these things called pods, where they like talk to each other through this like weird tinted glass. Like they can't see each other; they just talk. And apparently, they talk for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and you only see a little bit of it. But it's this idea that like you can find your soulmate by talking. Uh, even without seeing the person. Um, okay, so that that by itself is actually a fine premise. You know, nothing really wrong with that. It sounds a little crazy, but nothing, cra nothing terrible. Now, here's where the show becomes a flaming train wreck. The only way they really get to meet the other person is if they propose. This is after, like, five days or whatever of just talking to each other in these little closets. And they somehow know that they want to be with each other the rest of life. What's crazy is, like, it actually kind of works. Like, like it, in their minds, it works. Like, they, they feel like, oh, this trust this process. They always talk about the process. Trust the process. The process. There's, like, this weird mythos with these reality shows. Like, The Bachelor does this, too. I, I can't remember... Like all the different vernacular that the bachelor uses, but they have like my journey and find my person. That's like that cheesy stuff. Anyway, so the only way they get to actually meet these person, this this person, is if they decide to propose to them, and they've like deluded themselves in thinking that that's like normal behavior just because that's what you're supposed to do in the show. Um, so they propose to each other, they answer without even seeing each other, and then they're allowed to see each other. And then, okay, because that isn't crazy, and so like after that, then they like go to Mexico or whatever. And if that isn't crazy enough, here's the kicker: they then have to get married within a month, a fucking month, like thirty days. And like the the um 
you know, the, the TV crew follows them around for that time and uh, follows their journey as they uh, try to get a fucking wedding organized within 30 days. I think it's 30 days. I don't think it's 60 days. I'm pretty sure it's 30. And then it's like this big, like, perverse, weird wedding thing where it's like, it's not really a real wedding. I mean, it is, but it looks super cheap compared to most weddings. It's like at a... It's just not at a great, like venue. I mean, it's at a cool venue, but it just doesn't feel like particularly... It's definitely not like a really ritzy venue. Um, and then they like meet up uh, at the <laughs> down the aisle or whatever, and then they decide, like each of them says yes or no as far as whether they want to marry the person. And it's just like so sadistic. It's it's just a flaming train wreck the whole show because it's just like this prolonged anxiety attack because it, like you can tell these people should not marry each other so quickly but they feel like they're forced to because of the format of the show they're they're forced to legally marry one another for the show i mean even the bachelor doesn't do that i mean that the the formality the finale there is engagement and you know, usually what happens is they'll be together for a couple months and then they'll either find out that they're not really interested or compatible outside the show. Uh, they'll do some sponsor deals with all the uh, follow, like to get some money off of all the followers they get from the show. Um, and then they'll like, or they'll stay together for a couple years while deciding if they actually want to get married. But like in this show, no, you actually have to get married. I mean, you don't have to, but, like, that's that's the idea. And it's so fucking crazy. And, I mean, wouldn't you know it, a lot of these couples end up fighting a lot in that month leading up to the marriage, and after marriage as well. <laughs> Apparently, talking to somebody in a closet for five days isn't a good measure of whether or not you'd be a long-time life partner, like, actually living with them, especially if you don't even know what they look like. So, I mean, again and again and again, the show is like, oh, well, we're, we're doing this test and experiment to see is love blind? And the answer is obviously no. Like, love is not blind. It's very, very obvious if you watch any of the show at all that, like, no, what a person looks like is a factor. A, like, sexual attraction is a factor when you're getting married. I'm sorry, I'm just, like, full on ranting about this stupid show. So the the answer the question has been answered. So stop doing it. And at the same time, I I need to stop watching it. But it's also like it's very cathartic in a weird way. It's like it's like watching. It's like the equivalent of like the Roman Colosseum, where you'd like go and watch the fighters kill each other in this like bloody battle. I mean, that's basically what love and Bli what love is blind is. It's this incredibly emotionally brutal thing where like they're just going through these horrible god-awful emotions because they don't want like they shouldn't be marrying each other this quickly they shouldn't be engaging like proposing to someone they've never met um and yet it is entertaining it's it's like the least i don't know it's there's so much artifice. It's like The Bachelor, yes, there's there's lots of producer interference and stuff, but ultimately and I know you don't probably wouldn't believe this not seeing the show because you know all those shows are fake. They're they're you know, that they're scripted to have dates and everything, but they don't actually tell them what to say or anything. It's it's really truly not scripted. Oh, I was supposed to sell that carpet but like the level of artifice is so high in a show like love is blind that it's, it's, it's completely fucking insane i mean i don't know i'm really sorry i'm just ranting about this hey becky <laughs> it's not fair that billy was wandering all alone i'm gonna go do that too Um, yeah, anyway, I just <sighs> need to stop watching it. Or at least, I mean, no, I'm never going to stop watching it. It's too much fun. It, it's, it's horrible. I, d I don't know why I watch it. 
like there's a lot of reality TV shows where it's like actually a good time. Like I love the mole, and I love um, Joe Millionaire was pretty much a train wreck also, but that was a little bit less. Um, that one really it felt even less predatory than The Bachelorette or The Bachelor. That was actually a pretty fun, good-natured show. Interesting. Honestly, I don't like this at all. I'm gonna put it in the safe deposit box. I've rethought it. It's just miserable. I mean, the first season, I think there actually was a couple that worked out very well, and they actually seemed like sane people. But every single other couple on the show, I swear to God, is this, like, whirling dervish of, like, total dysfunction and, and social collapse. Uh, it's just brutal. Absolutely brutal. I tried watching the Japanese one. So my main criticism when I watched, well, besides that, my other main criticism of the show is that it doesn't spend enough time showing you their conversations inside the, the closet pod things. And then the Japanese version actually did show a lot of it. And I got so bored by like episode four that I turned it off and I realized, oh, that's why they don't show this much. It's actually incredibly boring. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry to rant though. It was just on my mind. I was watching. I started season three last night because it just got added to Netflix, and I was just having the simultaneous best and worst time watching it. I was like, what is wrong with you that you're watching this? Like, the moment when they unveil the the, 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 the doors to each other, it's so cringy because sometimes they it turns out, you know, of course, sometimes it turns out they're not attracted to each other. But they've already proposed, and so they're just like, there's, you just feel this full body cringe and discomfort of just like, oh, I'm on TV and I just got engaged to somebody I don't find attractive. <laughs> it's just this prolonged, torturous, I don't know, as they like struggle to like reconcile the conceits of the show, like what they're supposed to be doing, and uh, their actual feelings of what the fuck am I doing? Like, why did I, how did, how have I got myself into this? I'm not supposed to be marrying this person. One of my friends, Lisa, makes toys for little kids. She says she likes woodworks and crafts. It must be wonderful to have Abby with helps you all. I don't know if that voice is annoying. Perhaps I should try making something. <sighs> of course, I'd be far too embarrassed to show anybody. So I'm going to put this in here. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well there's not a lot left to do today, I guess. I thought there would be a ton. If I don't want to do mystery time, then I'm trying to think. I need to make sure there's no episodes. Episodes. I mean, there's like sometimes. Sometimes characters will say some special dialogue. It's a thing in Animal Crossing too. Hey Naomi. Yeah, what's up? I've got a lot in my mind right now. To be honest. What's up with you? I love things that are soft. Lint on sweaters, blankets, towels. Just touching them makes me feel better. I like touching hair that's been cut short, too. To be honest, it only had people's heads. I don't like touching hairy legs. Yuck. Well, yeah, I can understand that. Okay, there is an episode going on now. Let's see if we can catch it. I don't know if 
it's too early in the game for them to be active, but we'll see. Can't believe I missed the first lessons. Job, you should review the day's lesson and study for the next one every day. Yes, is there something you want from me? Let's chat. Mm -hmm. Thinking about this town's future really makes my stomach act up. What bothers me more than anything is that young people today cannot speak properly. Especially Vivian from Vivian's Boutique. Her day of talking is just plain awful. I can't even remember how many times I've lectured her about it. I know the students will dislike me if I am strict. But as a teacher, I can't leave these kinds of things alone. I have to be strict and firm. It's for the good students, after all. Interesting. So yeah, this is the teacher's lounge. I can't remember if I've been here yet in this playthrough. But I guess even those for teachers, you can enter here. And uh, this is where Miss Straw and Mr. Vlad just sit at their desks, staring into space all day. Try not to think about it. But uh, you can change the decoration for the classroom and uh, some other things. You need to change the uniform. Wow, you can like make everyone dress this way. Interesting. What should be the school uniform for Frog Trap? We'll have to look for... Ooh, we should look for the default outfits for Sanderson and Victoria and turn those into the um, uniforms. That would be cute. Alright, what else do we have? All right, I knew I said I would change pants. Sure, it really is cool. I just don't know if it's something I'd really wear. What kind of shoes am I wearing right now? There we go. That feels better. I feel ready to uh, torrent some movies. Sorry, Sam. Tracking shoes, yes please. Uh-oh, was that what I already had? Okay, good. Can I just whistle in this shop? busy with school. Wow, totally good of you. How totally good of you. Of course, I was a scholar. I was a schoolgirl once too, you know. The teachers were so totally annoying. I mean, like, really? Especially that Mr. Vlad, totally icky to the max. He was always, like, totally blowing his top. Yuck. What a Bavarian. Or barbarian? Whatever. Either way, he's, like, totally gross. Whenever I see him around town, I feel like crawling in a hole. <laughs> you know what I mean, Geoff? Yeah. I knew it! I'm not the only one who runs the sight of him! Interesting. So we just, Malila was talking about how much she loves Vivian. She basically wants to marry her. Um, but I guess Mr. Vlad is not a fan. I mean, I really just have to raise some more money. That's the main thing. 
The sun's almost gone. Say, do you know why shadows get so long in the evening? Because they're saying goodbye to the sun. Oh, that was terrible. By the way, I heard that Naomi is actually really cool according to the rumors. Do you think they were talking about physical appearance? Maybe. I wish I could find Grimball. I would love to uh, hang with him. Ooh, Grimble lives at the apartment. We could like add him to the dormitory sometime. Activate mystery time, but I just don't have time today. Gotta get some groceries. Alrighty, so yeah, I guess we should just keep fishing in the ocean. I don't know if this will be super interesting for everybody though. So I've never skipped, in the previous videos, I've never skipped fishing, like pausing it, even though it's a little, might be a little boring to watch. So I don't know. Ooh, a legendary octopus, that's pretty cool. I guess I should save one octopus for myself, because they're my favorite animal. Pause real quick again. I need to uh, turn the AC up, or the heat up. I mean, okay, I'm back. I'm back. I've returned. More fishing action. <laughs> I'm really sorry. This is a horribly boring second episode, but um, <laughs> yeah, I really want that vacuum map double boiler or whatever that it was called. Ooh, okay, that, okay, where am I All right, that one in the third row is tiny. I'm gonna use that one.
you're getting a lot of tiny stuff. Where are the big... Where are the big ones? Want some poor fish. There is a lot of good stuff to buy today. I'm trying to think. Like, is it... Should I just, like, make this an insanely long episode or record another episode later tonight? I mean, there's probably no real point to that. I can always record another episode tomorrow. Although, I wouldn't be able to, you know, buy all today's stuff then. Quite a predicament. Hoping that microphone gets here relatively soon. Although when it does get here, I'll probably be with my parents, so I won't be able to record very much. But um, <laughs> you know what? What's that? That's how it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm serious. Really? I was hoping Susie and uh, Naomi would join in. Susie's really good musically because she has the bass. Yeah. Hey, Naomi. Well, I'm always running around the place, so now I'm having a rest. Jeff, why don't you take a break, too? I know the proper pronunciation of my name is uh, Jeff. But um, whenever people say it, Geoff, it kind of makes me laugh, and I kind of like it. So I'm just sort of going with it for this. Saw something over here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I think I haven't played Mario Kart today. That's gonna get me a lot because it. I'm in a different time zone and daylight savings time just happened, so the day rollover is a lot earlier than it usually is. So I feel like I'm going to keep forgetting to do that. Hey, Nigel. Hey, Jeff. How's it going? One time I had to rush packing my bag so I wouldn't be late for school. I don't know what voice this is. In class, when they reached into my backpack to get my textbook, I found my pillow instead. If you ask me, I use my textbook and pillow in the same way, so it doesn't really matter to me. But it doesn't make a difference whether I have to go to the principal's office or not. That was pretty funny, I guess. I just think Nigel's so gross looking, no offense. Play music with me. <laughs> Susie is shocked. I guess the player knows this by default or something. <laughs> We've trapped Becky with our horrible rainbow march. 
on, Becky, join the Bride Parade, or whatever this is. Yeah, this would have been a lot better with her guitar. slow fundraising when you have like when you're not in mystery time oh there's a bug I should catch it I feel like every single scrap is, is something I have to catch even if it's like a crummy ant or a red dragonfly Ooh, or this little cricket what just happened what the f Okay, that was... I think the screen wipe was... That was weird. Oh man, I'm never gonna be able to stay awake playing now. <laughs> the, the Fall Night Lullaby has started. different bugs will be available. Hmm, I hear crickets, but I don't see anything. Oh, the mushrooms, those are good. repetitive, so I am going to pause when I get to the tower and just to deposit all this stuff. Alright. Burb. Alright. I traded everything, got some decent stuff, and I remembered not to sell the octopus that I wanted, which is kind of an amazing feat. Oh, you can see just the tiniest like sliver of the moon on the right side. I don't think that's... maybe it is. I don't know if that's accurate to the real life moon. I feel like we had a full moon fairly recently. I don't know though. I'm not sure. do with my main room at all. Like, would I want it to be creepy or like relaxing? Not sure. Got more field mushrooms. Alright. Slowly but steadily we're trudging towards our financial goals. I'm trying to think, like, I, I know today I wanted to focus on knocking those lessons out, 
Which reminds me, I need to check out the other lesson before I stop. Alright, we're getting a little closer. running out of time to order these groceries. Maybe I should do that. I think I might have to pause and do that. Alright, here's our final lesson for the week, Miss Straw. Pleased to meet you, Job. I am your incantation teacher, Miss Straw. Let's work together, Vicky, a fine wizard. You're always working so hard, Job. It's quite inspiring. Sorry, my voice is annoying me. Declare love. Let's learn how to do that. Okay, everybody, today I'm going to talk to you about the Declare Love incantation. This incantation allows you to tell someone you like what you're thinking. When you use it, the other person will notice you. And as we found out in the other playthrough, this only works with girls. Well, if you're a guy. If you're a girl, it only works with guys. First, bring someone you like to Lover's Point. There's a bell there that rings in late afternoon or early evening. For example, you may hear it at 4 or 7 o'clock. Transfer it into a wizard at such a time and chant the magic linguistic spell. Next, give the other person a red rose. Through the power of that flower, they will start to pay attention to you. But just one day is not enough. You have to keep casting the same incantation every day. If you can do that, then you'll really be able to show your love to the other person. The magic linguistics you need are written on the blackboard. Be sure to memorize them. So it says give a rose, but you just hold it up. You don't actually have to give it. Um... That actually caught me, but it really didn't seem like the other two things. <laughs> I didn't realize you have to do this multiple times. Now you don't have to. You'll probably be fine even if you just use it once or twice. Using the friendship spell with Smelt Sanderson definitely helped quite a bit. So she has the most lessons by far, you'll see. Lots of incantations to learn in this game. Hey, Grimble. Hmm. Good, good conjecture. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna grab those mushrooms. Okay, so looking at the bug and fish list, I think it's actually backwards. I think if it's not bolded, I double checked the wording. It says if it's bolded, that's the last month. But I think it's actually if it's not the last month, it'll be bolded. And if it's not bolded, then it is last month. So looking at that, it looks like we have to catch. It's like actually a much clearer picture of what we have to catch. I think we have to get a newt. And, uh, I don't know, some other stuff. Ah, get back here. Whew, doing this on the floor is not great for my posture. My back is yelling at me. home around here. Oh my god, 
god. Also, a walking stick, I'm pretty sure, is um, something that's going away soon, but I cannot find... I don't think I've found it for the life of me. I have no idea where it is. I may ask the Discord. I don't think I've ever caught the walking stick. That's not the Pleuro mushroom, right? Yeah. Pleuro is like orange and pink or something like that. Yeah, I think I actually like looked around these flowers for hours in a previous playthrough. Trying to find the stick insect and I don't think I ever, ever, ever found it. So I might need some help from the Discord on that one. People on the Discord are completely awesome, by the way. I happen I asked around to see if anyone had a sharper image of the witch hat symbol for the thumbnails. And someone actually like had redrawn it for the wiki and let me use it. Um, I think their name was Minto. That was the nicest thing ever. And they said that I didn't need to give them credit in the video description, but I'm giving them credit here. Credit, credit, credit. That was totally, totally awesome. Really saved my butt. All right, I'm gonna pause here. Um, I'm gonna turn this stuff in, but I also might take care of that grocery stuff. So, not that you really need to know every. Anyway, um, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Oops. <laughs> I'm always doing this. Um, so... Life just got a little complicated. I... It's definitely too late to... Um, order groceries today. Um, and then also... Apparently it's kind of hard to... I don't know, it's a long story, but it's going to be hard to figure this out, because I, d I don't like going inside grocery stores, so I always have to order it, but it's not looking like ordering where I live is going to be very easy. Life stuff, anyway, not really the jubilant news you want to hear about while watching Magician's Quest. Um, anyway, I think I'm just not going to worry about it. I'll probably just, I'll probably, I've been eating out way too much, so I'm going to have to do it again today, I think. Because uh, all I have around here is snack food, and that's not really going to cut it. But I'll figure that out a little bit later. <laughs> Sorry, this is taking forever too. Just, uh, I get that extra hundo every time. Shoot, one more thing. Um, I guess this won't take too long. Let's see. Man, okay, let's see. I 
also go back to the cave because I I want to catch a newt. I think they're leaving at the end of November, so it'd be great to catch one. And there's also something that I think there's uh, a dragonfly that I think the Ginyanma dragonfly. We caught it plenty with Smelton, but. It's only available in the morning. Ooh, are these Plerot? Yes! Okay, we're getting some different mushrooms up here. Interesting. I don't know, since the pandemic and like long COVID stuff, like food makes me panic, like the difficulty of accessing it. Um, because both other times I've, like both major times I've locked, got COVID before it was while grocery shopping. And so um, not being able to go out into the world and get food without Dealing with crowds and potential reinfection really gives me anxiety. Like I really have not was not the person who cared about health and stuff at all, but now it's a big thing. But I will figure it out. Um, there are always ways to figure it out. It is a slow process, but not an impossible one by any means. Ah, gotcha. It's so nice the AC is working here. Can't find that newt though. Should I just exit and come back in? I don't know. Oh, is that it? No, that's an ant. Ugh. Tiny ant. This couldn't get any more pathetic. around in the evenings and night, but maybe it's more of a night creature, because I'm definitely not seeing it yet. Hmm. Play mysterious, this newt. anything else here. Well, in that case, well, uh, I don't know. I really, maybe I should pause and like figure out dinner because it's going to be on my mind. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, not. That, I, I think, I guess, realistically, it doesn't actually cause a viewer any inconvenience if I pause because it's just a second passing for them. I don't want to give any viewers and pain admission issues, but I guess they won't actually sense any passage of time. Thank you. 
Got some decently sized critters. I don't know, Arnie... Oops. Ah! Fishing rod, okay. Any critters here? Any fish? 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 No. Okay. Well, I don't really miss tools taking up your inventory in Animal Crossing. I... I it is a little... <laughs> it's my fault, but when you, when you cycle through them a thousand times, it's a little tricky. How are we doing? Okay, all full up. Alright, um, so I am gonna pause again. I might just, like, take a minute to figure out dinner and, uh... So, by the time I come back, it might actually be a little later. We'll see. But, uh, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. So, I have my dinner settled, and then I'll figure out groceries tomorrow. Sorry, it's just like... Oh, shoot, I forgot to do that fish. Um... I don't mean to just rattle on about my day. <laughs> I apologize if that's boring. Uh, it's just uh, something that was on my mind that uh, just my day got jumbled around a little. I, I, I figured earlier today, I was like, maybe I should take care of more of my life stuff before recording, but I was like, no, I'm in the mood to re record and play some MQ, so here we are. And I don't regret it, because I am glad to catch up with some stuff. Ooh, my two favorite fellas chatting with each other. You know what? Tell you the truth. And that's what happened. Honestly? Sounds like some crazy shit. Um, well, hey. I may look like I'm taking a break now, but I'm actually thinking about how I can make more money. <gasps> Mikey loves us? I didn't know the same sex could have that emotion. Or maybe, I don't know, that's weird. If Mikey already loves us, I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> what are they talking about? I want to play a song with them. I wish I knew more than three songs. I feel like we just did this combo. Yeah, I think we did this exactly last time. I won't I won't do this for too long then. some more music. It's too bad they don't play songs in their apartments, like Animal Crossing. I mean, Animal Crossing, you can at least learn the names of songs that way and request them, but you can't do that in this game. I guess since it's 6 o'clock, there might be a new song playing at Limelight. I think we were only there at 5 o'clock. Oh, no, this is the one we already know. Oh well. I think that one's Dark Castle. I'm pretty sure. Not to be not to be confused with Dark Castle. Oh, 
I promise I'm selling all- I'm st getting all this money, I'm gonna spend all of it immediately. Um, well, on the plus side... Um, what's the plus side again? Oh, on the plus side, tomorrow, or the next time I play, I can um, try to do... Okay, I only know Echoes of Water, that's not a good song either. So excited! I can't believe we actually got enough money. I have no idea what this thing is, but I want it. I hope it actually does play music. Alright, let's get some more CDs to play. Making sacrifices. Ooh, I feel like X ray Invasion was pretty good. But I'm very curious what Family Matters is. Aw, oh, man! We're already broke. Perhaps you and a friend could learn to play a musical instrument together. It's not like music to strengthen a friendship. Interesting. feeling I'm gonna keep playing this until like after dinner. There's like so much shit I want to buy in the store today. I'm just gonna be like endlessly farming creatures until then. So again I apologize if this is kind of boring. I told myself I wouldn't like skip just farming creatures as far as recording goes but I don't know. That wasn't far enough. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Huge leather fish, very nice. I feel like we will only need one or... well, okay, I'm trying to think. I want a couple CDs. That's 2,000. Um, and I want... man, I cannot see the ripples at all. Um, and I want the double boiler, which I think was 3,000, and I wanted the concrete walls, which was 1,000, so that's 6,000 total. Yeah, we might be able to get that in two rounds, we'll see. Really depends on what we catch. But yeah, I guess it'll just be a quiet evening of uh, hunting for fish and bugs. To resent, uh, resist getting noodles from Charlie, Charlie the Noodle Man. Did I, did I say what this place was last episode? I, I, I'm sorry if I did. I, I have a terrible memory. If I didn't, this is Lover's Point. <laughs> it's where all the good uh, romance goes on. Maybe if I have time, you know, I'll put off all this pesky unpacking and stuff and just focus my life solely on uh, making a little chart of all the creatures available and when they're available and, and uh, seeing if we can 
nailed down. I don't, I don't know if we'll totally clear November. I don't know if we'll... The stuff that's only catchable at morning and noon uh, is going to be trickier. Although, maybe noon actually goes like fairly late in the day, so I could maybe catch it um, someday when I get up. I'm getting up at like 11 a.m.-ish. so clingy. It's like, oh, you have something left in your car. Let's send you a million notifications to remind you to use our service. If I wanted to check out, I would have. I don't need this emotional manipulation. I guess really I didn't have to rush those lessons because we're going past 7 o'clock <laughs> anyway. So uh, we're actually going into the fourth hour. To God that I, uh, at least a good chunk of that was paused because I really will feel bad uploading like a three hour, if we actually get like a four hour uh, episode I'll feel pretty bad about it. I should like look up which things result in a shade remains because that's not even worth keeping. does play music, right? I mean, there's a bunch of other things in that area that don't look like play, they theme, play music, but do, so I'm hoping this does. Whoa, this is so weird. Yes! Mm. Nice sound quality, too. guess we'll need a lamp in here at some point. But I really like our room. It's super cute. It has this great cohesive aesthetic going on. Like, you know, it's like a bedroom in the middle of a road and there's this piece of trash called a vacuum amp by the side that plays music and there also is an octopus there and a cupboard. Um, we do need to change the wallpaper though. This is a nice, like, musical intermission. It's very zen. I feel like writing a haiku or... petting a koi fish or something. I'll have to pet this little guy instead. There you go. as I can do to petting. Oh, I could twirl it around. He probably doesn't appreciate that.
this so much faster than fishing, even if the bug rewards aren't quite as good as fish rewards. Way quicker. Did I water both of these? Man, Grimble and Mikey are still gossiping. I wonder if we can get together and... Oh, do they love each other? Is, is that what, what's happening? Okay, there's a lot going on right here. <laughs> Thank God, Mikey's joining because it's gonna sound dreadful if there's no. Is there? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is pretty bad, guys. <laughs> no, it's Zen. It's not boring or horrible. It's just Zen. Zen is about. Facing the cold realities of nature. As awful as they may sound at times. This would be a cool trio. Me, Mikey, and Grimble. Even though Grimble and Mikey are the same personality. It's best oh, see Grimble likes it. He says it's good even if you have the same personality, so he he likes Mikey. And Mikey seems to love him. It's best to choose friends with similar personalities, friends who see your true self. Humor, for example, can get into trouble if others don't understand you. Back in the day, talking with those kinds of easily confused individuals can be quite exhausting. And you may think I'm conceited or thoughtless for saying that, but I can't help who I am. Grimble's so rad. I just love him. This is a secret. What's going on? And then what? Really? I thought so. Interesting. Wait, I don't know where I'm going. How's my inventory? Okay, I need three more things. I don't know why I bought Echoes of Water. Must have been high. Okay, got a pond smelt, medium. Catfish, yeah, tiny catfish. Oh. JK. Come on, who wants to bite on my bobber thingy? Come on, come this way, I'm over here. Yeah. That's bullshit. Grade A organic bullshit. Oh. Got another bobber right here. Or a bobber, a ripple. 
I have a bobber. Another... Okay, that was black bass. Alrighty. Be right back after I finish depositing this stuff. Okay, last one. Not a lot of great stuff this time, but every little bit helps, I suppose. And also, you can't really always tell the value of a batch just by looking at it. I guess, I mean, gems are worth a lot, but they... It's also just kind of hard to tell. Bones can vary a lot. Forgetting to play the pocket camp event going on today. Man, it is already getting so cold. It got up to like high 50s today, but now it's it's plummeting through the 40s again. I don't mind this part of the song. I actually like it. Oh no! Why isn't over yet? This song will not end. Ah. Okay, I think I think it's getting close. <laughs> That's so weird one. The name "Hear Me Now" really accentuates its, uh, you know, kind of. Slightly obnoxious quality. I mean, I, I don't hate it that much, but it's just like, hear me now. No, really, listen to this. Even if you don't want to. Hear my weird piano, piano random banging noises. Oh man, this is not worth much. I can say that right now. Okay. I think one more batch and we'll be good. Whew, this is some marathon creature farming, I'll tell you what. Hey Susie, what's up? I don't know what your personality Susie is. Geoff! I can't make the noise. Have you been? Geoff, I've heard an incredible you rumor about you. It goes something like this. Geoff and Mike are actually rivals. No, that's not true. We're just friends. Oh, so it really is just a rumor? I was shocked when I first heard that. I thought they were about to gossip. I don't know, maybe he wants to look at the Emporium. Or she wants to look at me. Oh yeah, she's having a fun time. 
Oh, I like that one. And this one is nice too. I got my eyes on so many things, I just can't stand it. Is there anyone out there who can just buy me everything I want? Well, that's. That's a bit much. I guess I'll. Oh, I don't know. Should we go fishing at the beach again? Maybe the cave? It's past seven now, so maybe the newts are out? <laughs> Send newts. I still think that's an ant, as much as I wish it were a newt. Somehow I feel like a very big ant is still not going to be great awards wise. Man, these stupid flies. Get out of my face! maybe. I don't think a fly of any size is really going to knock his spine off. actually um, a villager in this game, well, a classmate, who, I mean, his technical species, is, I think, is alien, sort of, but he actually looks very much like a sea angel. I think I met him one time. I don't think I ever really played with him, but... up with the newts? Why can't I find them? Are they for real actually available in November? Because I... I don't know. worried about just turning in a bunch of flies. I almost think we won't even make it to 6,000 if we do that. Could be wrong, though. Yeah, I only have a couple minutes before I have to pick up dinner, so... We end up playing even more later into the night. So pathetic, just trying to find flies fat enough to let us buy a concrete wall and a shitty double boiler. Oh, tiny. What a disappointment. Am I 
I sure there's no... Okay, that's another ant. Maybe the newts are here, and I'm just not, like... I'm just, like, going too quickly to see them. All these snakes are so tiny! No, I think newts are pretty visible. Ants, maybe not, but... going to be satisfactory for the Mr. Bug Book. There's something very shifty about Nigel. He's just chilling in the woods all day. swap some stuff for the ant, but might as well just go for it. I'm really curious what the tiny ants will give us. I mean, if I'd been paying attention, I would already know, but... Ooh, while we're here, let's get our fortune read. What's up, Principal Soul? Oh, this just this shows you the sky, but it's the exact same <laughs> as before you looked in the telescope, just with four black corners. It's the exact same. It's like, can you even like zoom or? Yeah, you can't do anything. It's so weird. Ah, oh, isn't she off? The night sky is a mirror that reflects all. You may find it useful to lend an ear to the whispering stars. Now then, Geoff, is there anything I could do for you? Um. What star whisper? The constellation known as the Hat now shines in the November night sky. The constellation of self improvement. It is said that while it graces the night sky, your luck in money and finding rare items will rise. Therefore, November is the perfect time to pursue much efforts. Don't think we're getting much money from this, but okay. And then there are the planets which have a variety of effects. Homes was easier to establish bonds when the planet relation shines. Now is your chance to deepen the bonds between you and your friends. Interesting. I feel satisfied. I don't think we need to ask him about our fortune today. Maybe another time. I feel like I learned a lot. And also, not very much. Alright, I'll be right back after locking these. You know what? There's something really peaceful about this right now. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna let it roll. And, uh... I'm sorry you have to watch me do this, but... For some reason, the atmosphere is kind of getting to me. I am enjoying it. I don't know how much this stuff is worth. I'm suspecting not a lot, but it's hard to say. It's all very random. It's not necessarily that the rarer and bigger 
better the bug, the more valuable it'll be. I mean, usually, yes, but it's a bit unpredictable. Okay, I think these two are the tiny ants. I'm curious what- I mean, this has to be the little- the worst thing you can get. Okay, orca hearts. Still better than shade remains. For me, anyway. I'm gonna suspect that this isn't gonna get us where we need to be financially. though. Definitely next time I play we have to do mystery time. Okay, all we need is 2,500. Or, I think it's around there. It might be a little off if I'm discount miscounting. How much is Overhorns? Ogre horns are actually really good! 240, that's pretty decent. I don't know if this is enough, though. Oh, man. Okay. I think we're just gonna be a couple rich short of by being able to buy everything we want. We'll see. That's a little less than I thought it was. I thought it was closer to 3,000. You may be asking, why out of all these great designs do you want the concrete walls? Good question. I, I'm not like, I, I won't have an answer for you ever. Um, I know it seemed like maybe I was waiting and then I was gonna like reveal my big plan when I... Okay, we want both of these. They're both good songs. Reveal. I feel like making sacrifices is not that big of a deal. The song making sacrifices, not making sacrifices for music. Okay. I guess I should catch even more of these, <laughs> since I'm completely freaking broke. Well, I'm gonna be getting a lot more when I do Mystery Time. Alright, let's do this. No, I 
don't want to hold it. I want to put it in the room. Oh yeah. This is beautiful. We're constructing a really great, like, abandoned, like, d dilapidated, deteriorating like, factory or something. This is per this is perfect. I'm supposed to pick up my dinner right now, but I'd rather be doing this. This is brilliant. I was I was supposed to have Martha Stewart on this uh, this episode to help with designing this um, beautiful interior, but she unfortunately wasn't able to come. Uh, she canceled last minute again. I'm having a really hard time um, getting in touch with her. She's uh, she'll spend days and days without texting me back, and then she'll just send me something indecipherable. Like the word, um, the other day she sent me the word radishes, and I don't know if that was, she was trying to say something to me, um, if she was trying to make a grocery list for radishes, or if she was saying, like, the thing, like, a key to interior design is radishes, but, um, anyway, I'm just glad she's not cussing me out like she was before. If you're watching this episode, uh, you know, newly, uh, you'll know that I have a very long, uh, you, I, I've had a, this issue before where Mark Stewart says she'll come on the show to help me decorate and then she cancels. It's fucking annoying. Anyway. Well, um, I would love to play some more music with, uh, my classmates, but I gotta go. And so, this will be the end of the episode, I think. Thanks so much for joining me, if you did. <laughs> um, I always say that if you did, but, like, if you got to this part of the video, you probably did, unless you skipped to the end, in which case, you know, hi, that's fine too. <laughs> um, but yeah, feel free to leave a comment about whatever you freaking want, <laughs> if you feel like it, um, but no worries either way. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for checking the video out if you did. Either way, I mean, these videos aren't insanely long, so it's quite a time sink. But, uh, <laughs> much appreciated if you did. Uh, anyway, I keep saying, repeating myself. Um, so, yeah, thanks, take care, and, uh, bye for now.